Welcome to Free Documentary Uganda. We are dedicated to bringing high-class documentaries to you on YouTube with the latest camera equipment used by well-known filmmakers working for famous production studios. You will see fascinating shots from the deep seas and up in the air, capturing great stories and pictures from everything our beautiful and interesting planet has to offer. Enjoy stories about nature, wildlife, culture, people, history, downtown streets, daily life walking tour, world-class buildings, Construction and motor cam. Rubaga Cathedral, Kampala, also known as St. Mary's Cathedral, Rubaga. Hello family, welcome back to another episode. It's free documentary Uganda. Like, share, comment and please do not forget to subscribe here on our YouTube channel for more videos. And today we bring you the towering house of God stands on top of the hill of the original seven hills that make up the city of Kampala. Visible from all angles, especially in downtown Kampala, St. Mary's and Sacred Heart Cathedral Vaga is indeed a city landmark, hardly missed by visitors coming to the Pearl of Africa. Three pubs have been here in the past. It was again here on July 29, 1969, that Pope Paul VI closed the African Bishop Synod hosted by Uganda, while Pope John Paul II took him here on February 8, 1993, where he met Catholic bishops and priests after a prayer service. He planted a tree in the courtyard and also inaugurated the memorial clock near the parish entrance. Besides the popes, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Robert Runcie, on January 28, 1984, visited Rubaga Cathedral and conducted a joint prayer with Emmanuel Cardinal Subuga. So did Archbishop Runcie's successor, George Carey, in the early 1990s. Archbishop Canary planted a tree outside the cathedral which still stands today. It is the mother of all churches in Uganda whose location was once home to the first Catholic missionaries in this country. The cathedral's location, being in the metropolitan capital and center, gives Rubaga Cathedral an age over others. St. Mary's Cathedral Rubaga, as seen today, is said to accommodate 5,000 worshippers. It's 248 feet long, 260 if the walls are considered, and 63 feet wide. Measures 152 feet, 162 including the walls, while the height from the floor to the ceiling is 50 feet. Some 2.5 million bricks were used to complete the cathedral. The idea of building this mother of all churches in Uganda came from Bishop Henry Hallon in 1901, who launched an appeal to all Catholics to contribute financially towards a building fund. Last appeal brought in 6,522 rupees, about 13,000 Ugandan shillings. Brick kilns were put up at Nalukolongo and Chisuri. In 1911, St. Joseph's Technical School was founded at Kasubi with the help of Brother Haman of the White Fathers to train carpenters, builders, blacksmiths and others. All, all this in the view of the needs foreseen for the building of Raga Cathedral. Chosen to head the building of the cathedral was Brother Cyprian. He decided to put up a test building the present parish church at Chisuri. He reduced to scale the plan of wood Rubaga Cathedral using one wing as the plan of Chisuri by building this small church. Brother Suprian aimed at training the students of the technical school in readiness for the task they would need to perform at Rubaga. One of the, one of the main tests was to see how the arches would support the weight in the walls and the roof. Everything proved satisfactory and the Chisubi charge was completed in 1913, a year before the construction of Rubaga Cathedral started in 1914. At Rubaga, Catholics shared in the construction work with everyone coming to Mass in the morning, stopping at Nalukolongo Kiln 
and taking a number of bricks on the head to the building site on top of Rubaga Hill. Powerful Stanislas Mogwanya, then a Buganda regent, used to lead the procession every morning with four bricks on his head. From the Chisubi kiln, the bricks and other materials were brought to Rubaga by an ox cart, as there were no vehicles in Uganda. Suprian and his foreman Matayo Lakalua started the work of building the cathedral on May 3rd, 1914, and by October 14, 1914, the foundation had reached the ground level and consumed 500,000 bricks. The work had to be interrupted for two and a half years during World War I, 1914 to 1918, due to lack of funds. The cathedral was completed in 1924 and consecrated on December 31, 1925. Ugandans alone contributed 87,167 shillings, a big amount then. The Catholics of Europe, America and Canada parted with 379,302 shillings. The missionaries of Africa Vicariate gave 23,896 shillings. The great altar of Movule tree was the work of Brother Sylvester and took two years to complete. As the cathedral bells were offered by Mr. F.M. Alcofi from Aviron, France, the ceiling is made of molded metal sheets brought in London by Bishop Forbes while the first glass windows were installed by Bishop Edward Mitchell, who died on June 18, 1945 and buried inside the cathedral. Outside the church, the popular giant Virgin Mary statue overlooking the city of Kampala was brought all the way from Italy and installed by brother Antonius. Kabaka Mwanga, while well, former Kabaka Daniel Vasamola Mwanga, is known all over the world for ordering the killing of the Uganda martyrs. He should at least be praised for something good. His generosity in donating the Rubaga Hill to the early Catholic missionaries through Bishop Joseph Heath in 1891. The palace where the cathedral is currently located was once a palace for Buganda's Kabaka Mutesa I, Mwanga's father. For starters, the current cathedral is the seventh to occupy the Rubaga Hill. Between 1891 and 1914, when the construction of the current cathedral began, the hill gave shelter to six cathedrals, made up different structures which unfortunately all disappeared under different circumstances. The first church to be built here was destroyed on January 24, 1892 at about 8 p.m. during the so-called religious wars. Two more grass-touched cathedrals were built within a year, with the first one being destroyed by an earthquake and the other burnt down by Protestants, Anglicans. But the Christians of Rubaga were determined. In 1893, they built a temporary church, which was later replaced by a more solid building in 1894. This church was used until 1901. Because of the growing Catholic population around Rubaga, the need for a larger church arose. Thus, the sixth new church was put up in 1901 and this time free of mud. The sun-dried bricks were used though it still had a grass-touched roof. It was 71 feet long and 21 feet broad and was blessed by Bishop Henry Hallon on March 19, 1901. It was used for 24 years. Around this time, around this time, prominent Catholics like Stanislas Mugwanya during mass would stay outside watching with an ancient wooden gun just in case Protestants invaded. He would only go outside the church for Holy Communion and return immediately to keep watch. The present church, a real cathedral in the true sense of the word and status, was completed in 1924 before being consecrated in 1925. The construction lasted 10 years. Feel free to share this video and the others on your social networks, Facebook, Instagram, among others, so as to increase its reach across the globe. Or WhatsApp us on 072-606-5123. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and please do not forget to subscribe here to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.
Yesu chome chipeke kere kubo yange mucho mwewe waja nemba wo ye mose mononga nyamaga ongobele za masage chisa Thanks for watching.